second, when will you announce who your VP is? So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Focus and Focoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, good people? Hope you guys are all doing well. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Follow me up here, here, and over there. I'm also on Rumble as the real, I'm sorry, I'm on Rumble as Modern Renaissance Man Variety. I'm on Twitter X as the real Ty Smith. And I also have another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father. Go check me out on those platforms there. Appreciate it. All right. So you guys all been hearing this buzz that's been going around. It's pretty much regarding Donald Trump and who he's going to pick for his VP. It's been a lot of speculation. There's been a lot of people saying a bunch of things. But he just recently did an interview here that I got that, that I got to do, do. Need to slow down. He recently did an interview here that I want you guys all check out. Okay. Check this out. When will you announce who your VP is? Not for a while. I mean, I have, we have so many great people in the Republican Party, but not for a while. Well, what criteria are you using to identify who your running mate is? Always it's got to be one thing. It's got to be who would be a good president. I mean, you always have to think that because, you know, in case of emergency, things happen, right? No matter who you are, things happen. It's got to be number one. Who is your running mate? Well, I have a lot of good people. We have a lot of really good people. So you haven't decided who it is? I have a lot of good ideas, but I haven't. And there's no reason so to do that So you haven't told that person, you're my person. I, I speak to everybody. I speak to everybody. You know, I called Tim Scott this, so because a lot of people like Tim Scott. I called him and I said, you're a much better candidate that, for me than you are for yourself. When I watched Tim, he was fine. He was good, but he was very low-key, et cetera, et cetera. I watched him in the last week defending me and sticking up for me and fighting for me. I said, man, I said, you're a much better person for me than you are for yourself, because for himself, he was low key. For me, he's been he's been a real tiger. He's been incredible. And others have, too. Uh, so maybe it's Tim Scott. Well, it could be it could be a lot of people. But it was interesting. I was watching Tim. I've been watching, you know, for a while. I watched him campaign as a candidate. But I watched him over the last two weeks. Uh, as you know, he endorsed me, fully endorsed me, gave me a beautiful endorsement. And he has been really strong in terms of that. No, but that has nothing to do. I don't want anybody to take even any inference. But it's incredible. Uh, Christy Noem has been incredible fighting for me. She said, I'd never run against him because I can't beat him. That was a very nice thing to say. What was it's the story that your team reached out to RFK Jr.? Did it's you? a false story, no. It's a false you story. never reached you know out what? to RFK Jr.? I like Jr.? him a lot. Nope, never. It never happened. Is it fair to believe that you would have a number of your former officials in your new cabinet? I will put some back. I'll tell you, I came to Washington having spent almost no time in my life in Washington. I know. You said and that. all of a sudden, I'm president. And I wasn't into Washington society. So I was not a Washington. I was a New York person. I was a New York builder. Well, you and, were and an outsider, other. and that's why I, I was a totally outsider. But the one problem with that, and I love the outsider thing, but you don't know people, so you're relying on other people to give you names to be the head of this, head of that. And by the way, we had unbelievable people. We had to look, I rebuilt yeah, the military. Yeah, but your critics say you had plenty of personnel mistakes. No, of course, but everybody does. Obama had. What about Biden? Look at the people running this Biden thing. The difference is I fire people. I fired Comey. I got rid of him. You didn't fire Christopher Ray. Well, I, I, you know what? At the time, I don't know. Let's see how, let's see what, what the final judgment is. But I didn't fire Christopher Ray. I didn't fire people I would have, but I fired a lot of people. You know, I had turnover. They have no turnover right now. How do you know if you get back in, you don't have a network of people around you working against you? I will, and so will anybody else that gets in as a Republican. These people are sick. These are sick people. But do you feel better this time around because you know what to expect? Well, I also know people that I didn't know before. I know now the smart ones. I know the dumb ones. I know the weak ones and the strong ones. I have, I know, I know tremendous amounts of people that I know will do a great job. But 
I was different. When I didn't like a job that somebody was done, I fired them, just like The Apprentice. I said, you're fired. You have to go. What about some of your former officials? Do you see them being in this next cabinet? Mike Pompeo, for example. Uh, I don't know. John Radcliffe? Uh, he's, he's fantastic. I mean, he's a great guy. John Radcliffe has done a great job. Yeah. Dr. Ben Carson? He's a, done a fantastic job. So you're expecting them to be in your cabinet? Some of, some of them, yeah. I mean, if somebody did a good job, I would do that, yeah. All right, so you guys all kind of heard that right there. Did it seem like Donald Trump was throwing you guys any hints out there? You know what I mean? Did it seem like he was kind of, eh, eh? Do y'all think it's going to be somebody that we just absolutely 100% don't know? But before I even get to my perspective on that, here's what some other folks had to say about that as well. Nikki Haley. Elise Stefanik. It has to be definitely someone younger. <laughs> A lot younger. Early on, I probably would have said DeSantis only because uh, uh, they, were, they were buddy buddies back in the day. Our Lord God, because he's going to, any president, our president is going to need our Lord God by him. It really doesn't matter to me, but as long as it's somebody that supports the main person, you know, that's the most important. Because he's old, Biden's old, you know, the number two is really important in this election. All right, so you guys all heard that now. To be honest with you, I'm just saying, this is just me. I can't see him picking DeSantis. I can't see him picking Vivek. I know y'all like, oh, why in the world? I know Vivek is very energetic, charismatic, but all the things you guys had to say about Vivek before all this was concerning. You guys are talking about how he's a Soros plant. He's saying too much. He's saying he comes off as a salesman. I know when Donald Trump called him up there and he was really da 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 but it's the fact that Donald Trump was before that happened, before Vivek Ramaswamy conceded, Donald Trump posted on his own uh, social media platform, uh, Truth Social. He posted like, don't go for Vivek. Vivek is just this. He's saying all these things about him. Maybe that was just games of politics. Maybe that was just ways of throwing shade. I don't know. But a lot of people been saying some weird, I don't want to call it weird, just things like, you know, let's just say it. I'm just calling it out. They say it like, okay, it could be Tucker Carlson. You heard that. I'm just being real with y'all. People said, you know, Joe Rogan, y'all, come on now. <laughs> there was Ben Carson, which is like, oh, okay, all right. You know, I can see it being Ben Carson in there. Um, DeSantis, I think Trump made it known that he definitely wasn't going to pick DeSantis. We know he definitely said he's not going to pick Nikki Haley. Then there was Tim Scott, which there's another one that was thrown in there. But although those names are being circulated around, do y'all think any of those people on that list that I just named off are really going to be as big? Or do y'all think it might be somebody where we just like didn't see it coming? For example, RFK, Kennedy. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you have a kind of a, you know, you come, you have two different, would this be the first ever? I don't know. I'm a young guy. I don't know if we ever had it to where you had the president being, you know, Republican. Then you had the vice president being Democrat. And they, I think they asked Trump this question. And he was just kind of like, well, you know, you know, you never know. You never know. Uh, I don't see nothing like that happening. But if it did, that would be very, very, very interesting. Because if you watch RFK, he says a whole lot of interesting things that I agree with. Now, some for I'm I can't believe you said that. Look again. I said he said some things that I agree with. Now, I know how y'all feel about him with the abortion and everything, but RFK seems to be somebody that's calling out a lot of this ridiculous stuff that's going on within the globalists, within our country. He seems to call out a lot of ridiculous and things that I agree on as well. So to have him and Trump together as a possibility, I'm just saying you never know. You, you just never know. Me personally, I think it's going to be very, very interesting to find out who he might pick as a running mate. I think me personally, I'm going to be surprised if he pick anybody off the list that I named off, you know, the Vivek Ramaswamy, Tim Scott, DeSantis. I know it's not going to be Nikki Haley. I think I already said, I'm not going to pick, I'm done calling him sanctimonious. You know, I I, I just don't know. Anybody, if, the, if he picks anybody off the list that I named, I would be like, oh, wow, he did it. But at the same time, I think whoever it is that he's going to pick, I'm going to be quite surprised by it. Tucker Carlson, that would be crazy. I'm just saying, that would be really crazy. Now, with all that being said, I'd like to ask you guys that's watching this channel, who do you guys think it's going to be and why? You hear that? 
Who do you think is going to be and why? I want to hear from you guys as to why my listening audience, my subscribers, my patrons, I would love to hear from you guys who you think is going to be and why. Leave it in the comments after this video so I can read them and see it from your perspective. All right. Make sure y'all get in your cell phones and let people know about this channel. Go to your contact list and let them know about this channel. Tell them to subscribe to this channel. You guys have been doing an excellent job. I just posted on the community section that we hit 330,000 subscribers. And I think as of today, February the 4th, we already hit another thousand on top of that. So I might do a little thing in the community session saying thank you guys for that part right there. But again, we shall see. Keep doing that. Give me your contact list. Let people know about this channel. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you guys doing that for me because it's working. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys in great help mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.